Hello and welcome to another Tuke Takeaway. My name is Jack and I'm one of the teachers at Tuke School and today I'm going to share with you an activity called Entopic Graphomania. Can you say that? It's a bit of a mouthful. Entopic Graphomania. And basically it's a surrealist automatic drawing technique and what's great about it is it doesn't matter if you think you're a good drawer or a bad drawer because there are three very simple rules and as long as you follow them I promise you'll make something that looks really cool and interesting and it's a very relaxing activity okay so this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need some kind of piece of paper now ideally you'll have a picture on it so a picture from a magazine will be good or you could use a piece of writing from a newspaper but if you haven't got anything like that, you could use a page torn out of an old book or you could even use a blank piece of paper. You're also going to need maybe a ruler or something of a straight edge. I'm using this piece of perspex, but it's not important because you can always do it freehand. So it's not important. And you'll need some coloured pencils, some felt tip pens, some marker pens. You could use paints, but something that you can colour in your piece of work with. OK, so. Let me show you how to make your own piece of entopic graphomania artwork. Let's go. So you're going to take your piece of paper with your picture or piece of writing on it or a page out of a newspaper, whatever you've got. And you're going to decide which side you want to do the piece of artwork on. So I could do it on this side or I could do it on this side with the Statue of Liberty. So I'm going to choose this side. Then you're going to take a felt tip pen or a marker and you're going to add dots anywhere you like on the picture. Don't think too much about it, just start adding dots. You can count them as you go if you want. It's quite a nice counting activity. You can do some dots close together, some far apart. Perfect. You can do as many dots as you like or as few dots as you like. Then, now, you can take your ruler or your straight edge and you can start to join up the dots in any way you like. A bit like doing a dot to dot picture, except you've made it yourself. It's quite nice to use straight edges because it creates a nice effect, but you can also do it freehand without a ruler. And there's no reason why you can't do some curved lines as well. But take your time, it's quite nice just to connect the dots in different patterns. You can see what shapes you make. No pressure though. This isn't a mass activity, it's an art activity. I remember when I was young, I used to do things like this with my sister. You'd make shapes and then colour them in. But I don't think we called it entopic graphomania. I don't think we knew that's what it was called. Don't be afraid to go over the picture. We're not trying to consciously think about what we're doing. We're just connecting dots. Okay? Already you've got something that looks quite cool, right? I quite like it. So then you're going to take your colours and you're going to start to colour in the spaces you've made on the picture. Now, I have not got much, but I've got some whiteboard marker pens. I've finally found out where they all are in my room. So that's good. I can't wait to get back to school and have a classroom full of whiteboard marker pens. And you start to colour in the spaces and as I said take your time you can use paints for this you could use colored pencils this is a magazine page so color pencils wouldn't work so well but if you're using newspaper then you could definitely use colored pencils or crayons Have some nice music on. You could 
take turns doing this with your child. You could share one piece of artwork or you could have a piece each. It's quite nice for them to watch you do it. It's a really good learning opportunity because we often learn by watching others. So if you're sat with them doing it too, you'll get all the benefits because they'll be watching you, they'll be learning how to do it, but also you'll both be sharing an activity together. It's a really nice opportunity to communicate and to share. And also, you'll both be creating this really lovely, calm atmosphere. So I'm not going to do all of this now because that would make this a very long video. But I think you can get the picture, excuse the pun. Whoop, rolling of what we're doing. And just to show you, I've also did some earlier because I'm auditioning for Blue Peter at the moment. I'm not really, don't tell the head teacher that. I'm not, I'm not auditioning for Blue Peter. So I made this one here, one I made earlier. And just so you can, so on this one you can see that there was writing here, so you can do it over writing. And I also did it on this piece here. And as you see, you can make some really interesting pieces of work, which you could make little frames for out of cardboard boxes, and you could stick them up around your house. So yeah, that is Entopic Graphomania. Have a go, and uh, maybe share some of your ideas with Twitter, if you're on Twitter. Bye.